Today I'll show you how I play each and every shot as a 7 handicap who doesn't have a good swing. So if you're like me and you don't swing like a pro, this should be a helpful breakdown of how to navigate your way around the course, shot by shot. I don't have tour-like distance, but for the types of courses we play as amateurs, it's more important to consistently put the ball in play than it is to hit bombs but lose strokes to stray shots. A little divey. It's a cold and windy day at Predator Ridge. I think we're going to hit just a full data. Which is a good test of both the body and the mental game. And on the first approach of the day, I'm not letting ego inform my club decision. It's heavily downwind, so I'll club down and just try to focus on making good contact, given how little feel I have in my hands. Like I said, it's windy out here. And I find that it's easy to inadvertently rush yourself over putts when the wind is howling. But a key to my game is two-putting when I should. It only takes an extra second to walk the putt and settle yourself before putting a stroke on it. And here on the first hole... Oh, it just died there. I'm able to two-putt for par. The second hole is right back into the wind. And after a drive that doesn't go all that far, I'll once again ensure that my ego doesn't factor into my club selection on the approach shot. Playing 144 slope and into wind. So I think I'm going to hit a 165 club. His short looks... Miserable. A miss short here would leave me in a gully with a blind pitch into the green. I've chosen my club, and now the task is to commit to the shot. A coach would point out that I'm aligned close to target here. But like I said, on course, I'm focused on decision making, not swing mechanics. And I am able to get this one pin high. I took a lot of club there. <laughs> and on a downhill putt like this, my primary thought is to hit it at die speed. I'm committed to my line about two feet outside. And with good distance control... Oh. I'm able to escape this hole with a par. But my rounds have their share of misses too. This is another hole playing into the wind, and it's a slight dogleg to the right. So my pull draw is going to leave me a long way home. 199 uphill. Don't even think my five wood's gonna get there. I'm happy to make good contact with the five wood here, but Thanks. it ultimately comes up just short in a greenside bunker. Oh, bad kick. And I mentioned that my game relies on being tidy inside 100 yards. But that doesn't mean I won't miss on occasion in this range, too. But I've found the key in these situations is to stay positive. <laughs> and not treat the next one any differently than if I were chipping for eagle. Yeah. Granted, from this lie, all I can really do is ensure I don't miss short and leave myself above the hole. So I'll chip it out and accept that I'm playing some plinko here. It works out. And now on to the bogey putt. Yeah. All right. Time to go home there, ball. Again. I'll treat it just like any other, with a positive mindset and ensuring that I'm fully committed to my line. I'm lucky to get it to go. Thanks. And that's a bogey I'm just fine with. Yeah, the flag's moving a lot. On to the fourth, just a short par three. But with the wind swirling, I'm committing a cardinal sin here of not being committed over my shot. You can see how I hover over it for just a bit longer than usual, and it should come as no surprise that this swing comes out. Oh, wow. But fortunately for me, it gets a good kick onto the green. <laughs> and it's worth mentioning that I'm playing with three golfers today who are scratch or better, including Nash here. You'll see me walk in to get a look at the line of his putt, and he comes up quite a bit short. I'll incorporate that knowledge over my putt and give it quite a belt. It also comes up just a bit short, and we'll settle for par. So let's talk briefly about the golf swing. You won't find me giving you swing advice, but Swing Tweaks gives you access to golf professionals who can specifically diagnose your swing and provide a detailed golf lesson, all directly on your phone. And for about the price of one in-person lesson, you can purchase five or even ten Swing Tweaks that you can use throughout the season. I can't think of money better spent to level up your game. So use the code LEVELUP for access to the Swing Tweak sale and you can get going today. This is 180, playing 192, into uphill, hitting everything I've got, and all the trouble short right, so I'd like to miss left. I've laid a good plan here. Any miss to the right here would be disastrous, whereas a miss short left is just fine. But once again, this close setup that's been creeping into my game has me aligned way off target, and it leads to some terrible execution here. Whoa. But a good plan means that even this ugly miss that was interesting. won't leave me in a bad spot. So I'll wipe this miss clean from memory and go back to work inside 100 yards. 
I'm just trying to get this pitch to the right tier of the green here. And I pull it off. Thanks. I'm committed over the par putt, too. I'm going to commit to a ball out. But execution's off here, too. Or more than that. <laughs> Bad putt. Missed my line. But at least we've limited the damage to a bogey. Oh, now it's into. You feel that? I'm going to go with this club. We'll see. I'm trying to commit to the right club here, and the wind's causing a bit of indecision, which leads to this. Whoa. <laughs> It finds a greenside bunker, where my friend Dre will man the camera for me. Yeah, just like film it from here and try to follow the ball if you can. And after blading one out of the last bunker, I'm a heck of a lot happier with this effort. It will give me just a short look at par. Thanks. And I'm able to ram it in. Good up and down. Thanks. But sub-80 scores don't necessitate fistfuls of 10-bell shots. And after another hook drive here, the approach shot is even more worthy of the blooper reel. Oh my goodness. But with the miss still in play, I won't get discouraged over the next one. The years I've put in at pitch and putt make me relish these shots. From 50 yards, I may not always get up and down, but I know I can give myself a good look at par. This one doesn't quite drop, but once again, we've limited the damage to just a bogey. And at long last, a par 5. Not only that, but it's playing downhill, downwind, and this drive rolls out to almost 300 yards. And with my misses going left today, I'm going to ensure that I pick a conservative target and miss in the right place. Yeah, the green's like 265. Just looking at the tall tree at the end of the fairway. I pull it off here, and I'll have just a short pitch in. But again, even though this is the strength of my game, I'll still flub these from time to time. Oops. Bladed it. The key is to still treat the next one with full attention. What is this doing? I want to see what the ball is doing at the hole. Next, I'll walk the length of the putt to program its true distance into my feet. My make percentage from here may be low, but I still want to ensure that I've committed to the right line and focus on speed. It's tracking, and despite the low odds on this one, <laughs> another hold downwind and downhill, and this is probably my purest driver strike of the round. I'm waiting for that one. On to some decision making on the approach shot. All right, definitely a, a wind assist here. 130. Feels like a 9 iron. Where I catch, quite a break. Oh. Adam. <laughs> Somehow I'm left with a short putt for birdie. But the luck ends there. And I'll close the 9 with a par. And like I said, good scores entail their share of bad shots. But by keeping it in play, scrambling a couple of times and getting one to go for birdie, I'll head into the back two over par. Another par five to start the back, and I've had to pipe in some audio for the next few holes as my mic malfunctioned. It's another great drive downwind here, and now another fairway wood off the deck, where I'm still aligned a bit closed, albeit less so, and I'm able to knuckle one up to wedge range. Thanks. From here, another pitch and putt shot, and I'm able to give myself a look at birdie. And after watching Neil blast this one by the hole, I told myself not to make the same mistake, but for whatever reason, that's exactly what I do. But I am able to make the comebacker for par. Finally, a hole back into the wind. And it's probably for the better that my mic wasn't working here, because it's truly howling, which will become a major factor throughout the back nine. Because despite my alignment being a tad better here, I make a mess out of this shot, and I'm actually lucky to get it anywhere near the green. And now... A short little chip over the bunker and onto the green. I've gotten up and down two of five times so far today, and after a great one here, we'll now make that three for six. We're downwind again, and while it would be tempting to go for the green here, the high percentage shot is just to get one in play with a hybrid and leave myself a wedge in. Mission accomplished, but they say no good deed goes unpunished, and sadly, that's exactly what happens here, as my gap wedge catches the bunker. We'll go right back into scramble mode. We're 50-50 getting up and down so far today, and this one will give me a look at improving on that. But not before you get another look at just how nasty the wind is here. This is the first time I've had a tumbleweed distraction over a par putt, so I'll just take a second to reset here, and fortunately, I'm still able to drain this one for par. Onto a par 3 that could be as little as a 7 iron if we were playing downwind, but once again playing into wind, I'm actually taking two extra clubs here, and with full commitment this time, I hit a good one. Just in time for the mic to come back on, 
where you can hear what's been rattling through our ears all day. And it's not often that I hit a true brain fart putt like this one, but here it is. Well, that wasn't a good putt, was it? <laughs> I still have a slider left for par, but sadly, I don't get it to go. And this is my first and only Whoops. three putt of the round. We're still into wind, and the question now is how aggressive a line to take here. It's tempting while playing with long hitters to take on their lines. They're looking at the tree on the right. But a shot into the water here would turn an easy par 5 into a blow-up hole. So I'm committed to my conservative line, and this is just fine. Thanks. So it's only 2.11 to the flag, but we're into like a 3-plus club win, so I'm laying up, trying to bump one 150 yards that way. A good plan here, and despite poor execution, once again, the plan kept us safe. Which is more than I can say for Nash and Dre here. And now on to my approach. I grabbed a ton of extra club for this one, because I wanted to ensure that any miss still left me putting for birdie. I get it done, and now on to the long putt. The three putt on the last hole is a distant memory. This is a long downhiller falling to my left, and I'm more concerned about the speed than the line. It turns out to be one of my better efforts of the day. Thanks. And we will escape this hole with a par. Yeah. There are some bunkers on the corner, okay. so I kind of go, you could probably go a good 15, 20 yards right of the white. Okay. Armed with some info from Dre, I am able to get this one out there, despite it not looking too pretty. Not the prettiest shape. Speaking of which, massive cross and hurting went right over Dre's cart. This is a bad one. Real bad. Well, it went right over Dre's cart. I missed recording this. <laughs> I was here, I had 53, I hit it clean, and it's close. Somehow I'll have a look at par. And as always, I'll treat it the same whether I were putting for three or for six. It is going right to left from down here. All right, cup, commit, stroke it. And despite this one not dropping, I'm happy with the process, and we'll settle for bogey. Barber pull, you guys think? With a cut? It's been a while since I hit a drive that put me out of position. Oh no! But this is one of them. But playing downhill into this green, I decide to go for it, ensuring that I miss left of all of the trouble on the right. And you can tell I like it. That was money. Does this look like it's going to race off this to you? I think it needs to land just like here. Or blade it. But this is another greenside brain fart. I know, but I just bladed it. You like a cup here? I fail to make the comebacker. <sighs> and for the first time today, back-to-back nice. -back bogeys. One more par three, and it's a bit of a beast in these conditions. Uh, diving. And I'll come up short. Which gives me an opportunity to claw back the bad chip I hit on the last hole. It's nothing fancy, just a little bump and run. Thanks. I get it close and clean it up for Paul. Suck it down. Thanks. 18 presents one final challenge. Another 400 plus yard par four into the wind. I hit this one okay, Thanks. but it doesn't go too far. And I truly don't know what I was thinking here. It's only about 170 to carry the water, and I decide to go for it. But how's this? A truly terrible one. And unfortunately, after limiting the damage well all day, I'm going to compound that mistake with another poor one here. Whoa. I'll chip this one on to give myself a look at bogey. But this putt isn't quite meant to be, and we'll close the round with the only double today. Nonetheless, I hope it was helpful for you to see how I navigate my way around the course. I'm thrilled with the 78 today, and to bank a differential in the fives.